Hello and welcome to day 20 of Pondering the Proverbs. I'm your host, Pastor Beata, and I'm so glad that you could join us once again as we virtually continue our journey through the book of Proverbs. Today we are doing chapter 20. humans so afraid of aging? Perhaps even more so than dying? What is it about the little gray hairs, the wrinkles, the aches and pains that make people panic so much? Does God not offer us a long life? Eternal life is a long time, right? A reading from the book of Proverbs, chapter 20. Wine is a mocker, strong drink a brawler, and whoever is led astray by it is not wise. The dread anger of a king is like the growling of a lion. Anyone who provokes him to anger forfeits life itself. It is honorable to refrain from strife, but every fool is quick to quarrel. The lazy person does not plow in season. Harvest comes and there is nothing to be found. The purposes in the human mind are like deep water, but the intelligent will draw them out. Many proclaim themselves loyal, but who can find one worthy of trust? The righteous walk in integrity, happy are the children who follow them. A king who sits on the throne of judgment winnows all evil with his eyes. Who can say, I have made my heart clean, I am pure from sin? Diverse weights and diverse measures are both alike an abomination to the Lord. Even children make themselves known by their acts, by whether what they do is pure and right. The hearing ear and the seeing eye, the Lord has made them both. Do not love sleep or else you will come to poverty. Open your eyes and you will have plenty of bread. Bad, bad, says the buyer, then goes away and boasts. There is gold and abundance of costly stones, but the lips informed by knowledge are a precious jewel. Take the garment of one who has given surety for a stranger. Seize the pledge given as surety for foreigners. Bread gained by deceit is sweet, but afterward the mouth will be full of gravel. Plans are established by taking advice. Wage war by following wise guidance. A gossip reveals secrets. Therefore, do not associate with a babbler. If you curse father or mother, your lamp will go out in utter darkness. An estate quickly acquired in the beginning will not be blessed in the end. Do not say, I will repay evil. Wait for the Lord and he will help you. Differing weights are an abomination to the Lord and false scales are not good. All our steps are ordered by the Lord. How then can we understand our own ways? It is a snare for one to say rashly, it is holy, and begin to reflect only after making a vow. A wise king winnows the wicked and drives the wheel over them. The human spirit is the lamb of the Lord, searching every inmost part. Loyalty and faithfulness preserve the king, and his throne is upheld by righteousness. The glory of youths is their strength, but the beauty of the aged is their gray hair. Blows that wound cleanse away evil, beatings make clean the innermost parts. Holy Wisdom, Holy Word. For the last several videos, I have asked if there's a proverb that is your favorite. Today, I ask the opposite. Which of these proverbs do you not like? Which of these proverbs is your least favorite? Why?
dig two graves. When seeking vengeance, dig two graves. Yet, do not say, I will repay evil. Wait for the Lord and God will help you. Do we really need to seek vengeance? Or will the evil done come with its own ill rewards? Wage war by following wise guidance. But not wisdom suggests that peace is usually best? What do you think about war? How is God present in it? In vino veritas, in wine, truth. Wine is a mocker, strong drink a brawler, and whoever is led astray by it is not wise. And yet, early Methodists drank small beer at their gatherings, something we would not do today. How do you think attitudes about drinking have changed over the centuries? Do you have your own opinions? What does God think about alcohol?
Who can say I have made my heart clean, I am pure from my sin? Today, we can say that Christ has helped absolve us of past transgressions for which we have repented and received grace, forgiveness, and redemption. How do you experience salvation now? What wisdom do you have to offer in the realm of sin and grace? How do I take action with this wisdom against sin? Please join me in a closing prayer. O oh God, help us to know that as we age, be it gracefully or otherwise, that our gray hairs are a gift, that they are an indication that we have become wise with years of experience. Help us to not be afraid of growing old. Help us as well to open our hearts to the possibility that we are still sinners, that we still are falling short and need to change our course. Help us to respond to those opportunities of grace which you sent to us. Help us to be those who have repented. Help us to see the error of our ways and turn back to you, Lord. In your son's name we pray. Thank you so much for tuning in to chapter 20 of Pondering Proverbs. I am so glad that you were able to join us in this video for our virtual discussion. Please leave a comment down below and let us know what your thoughts are. A couple of controversial topics in this video, potentially. War and alcohol all in one. What am I thinking? But if you did enjoy this video, please be sure and give it a like. Share it with someone you think might benefit from pondering these questions. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. As ever, God be with you till we meet again. Go in peace. Bye-bye.